Hello everyone, welcome to the session on object based databases overview. In this session, we will be talking about what exactly the object based databases are, how it is differentiating from the normal relational database, how this object uh, based model database model is working. At the end of this session, you will be able to define the object based database and you will be able to design the normal 1NF and 4NF nested relations too. Now, what exactly this object based database system is? Basically, uh, in the database management system where we are storing the information, we are manipulating the uh, data and everything we are doing, in the object based database we are doing it in the form of objects. Okay. Here we are applying the features of object oriented programming like whatever the normal object oriented programming features are there like objects, classes, inheritance, polymorphism. Okay. So, all these we are applying for the database too. Now, this object relational data model, how this uh, uh, data model is working? Basically, in this one what is happening just see that uh, the normal relational data model uh, is extended by including the object oriented and the object oriented uh, oriented programming concepts also uh, to do de to deal with any kind of the data types here. Okay. So, we can say that the object oriented uh, database is extending the added data types here okay. and it is allowing attribute of tuples to have complex types also. We will see later on in this session and the, uh, the later videos also that how exactly the complex uh, types are uh, declared in this one okay. and uh, these are including the atomic values uh, like nested relations means one relation which is connected with another relation okay. So, the relations are nested here okay. Uh, so, th that is what it is this model is having. Now, it is even if the, it is uh, approaching the object uh, model, okay, object based model, then also it is preserving the relational foundations also, okay, like how to declare the data, then uh, uh, whatever the power of normal uh, uh, RDBMS is there, that is also it is preserving, okay. And basically, we can say that it is a upward comp uh, compatibility with the existing relational languages, okay. Now, let us see this, uh, this we call it as a ORDBMS like object relational database management system. Normally the conventional uh, relational database management system uh, is now extended with some functionalities here okay like storing and manipulating the data in the form of objects okay. Now this, this type of RDBMS we are mentioning as a ORDBMS and this is combining the normal conventional capabilities of the uh, database with the enhanced capabilities uh, called as object oriented programming okay. Now let us see now think in this one that what, uh, what are the normal conventional capabilities of the relational database systems are okay and then we will come to uh, the object oriented relational database too as well as. See the capabilities of this. Uh, talking about this side here, RDBMS uh, concept, okay, relational database uh, system concept, how exactly uh, it is working and what are the capabilities here. Uh, basically, the object relational database system or DBMS, it is a combination of RDBMS as well as the object relation, uh, the OOPS concept, okay. So, let us see now uh, if you are talking about this side here. Uh, the capabilities of RDBMS, what the RDBMS is doing, uh, it is uh, usually called as a secondary storage management okay? and it is a, a schema management thing, it is handling the concurrency, so concurrency control is there, it is managing the transaction, so transaction management is there as well as the recovery is also there, if the deadlock happens then it is recovering that, uh, that also in the database manipulation uh, part. Uh, the queries are processed here, okay? whenever uh, we are we want some data then we are writing a query and those queries are processed at the back end and the results are coming back here okay as well as for the security purpose the authentication is there the control uh, uh, access control is there for the user who who want to access what part okay to whom we can give the access to whom we are not giving the access safety purposes are also there like backup storage and all those things as well as the security things Okay. So, all these things are looking after by the normal RDBMS system. So, these are the we can say that at the left, left hand side in the diagram whatever is given that it, those are the capabilities of the normal RDBMS system. Now, what about your 
object oriented uh, uh, oops concept it is having a complex complex objects okay means what the normal data types are not there the more uh, complex data types like objects are there here classes are there objects are there object identifiers are there user defined types are there we can define our own uh, types here okay then encapsulation is there uh, type and class uh, hierarchies are there we can uh, include inheritance here overloading is there overriding is there polymorphism is there so all these things are combined here okay so that will form a object relational database system now why the the reasons of having why we require ordbms okay why only normal conventional rdbms is uh, not sufficient because uh, whatever the storage requirements of the newer nowadays every uh, new applications are there okay much of the applications are coming every day so the requirement storage requirements uh, which is provided by rdbms is there that is not sufficient we have to extend that and other part is what handling the data store whatever the data we are storing okay how to handle that data okay that is also not sufficient in the normal relational database that is extended by by providing the object relational model and uh, whatever the user de de defined data types are there because normal rdbms is having its own fixed data types so the ability to uh, define the we are providing user to uh, given or the define his own data type okay which is added feature here then reusability like uh, when we want inheritance so already existing uh, types are there already existing tables are there we want to extend them we want to uh, get the benefit of that okay so that one is uh, done by this one okay and obviously this is extending the uh, database okay so these are the reasons of having the normal ord ord bms what are the features it is having user defined abstract data types user defined routines are there routines means you can write the functions here inheritance we can apply encapsulation we can apply complex objects we can define okay um, and uh, object identity we can give means we can point one object uh, pointer to another one there using uh, in the tables also large large objects we can uh, define here we can store image video and those kind of things here and it is extensible and flexible okay for the indexing also therefore uh, uh, these are the main features of the ordbms now let us talk about the nested relations uh, what are nested relation because one of the feature of the object oriented uh, database is a nested relation basically uh, what is the motivation of providing the nested relations here uh, it is permitting the non atomic domains okay atomic means what indivisible right uh, so for example set of integer set of tuples Okay, so these are called as a non-atomic domains. So uh, it is permitting for that the nested relations, and it is allowing more modeling of the applications with the complex data. Okay, the nested relations are providing the uh, the data modeling. Okay, in the in the proper way. Let us see the definition here. We call it as a intuitive definition. Uh, what it is doing exactly this uh, relational this nested relation? It allows relations whenever we allow atomic or scalar values. okay relations within relations that is that it is providing one relation is there within another relation so this is one type of uh, uh, means we are defining the um, inheritance here we are defining the relations here we call them as a nested relation i will show you the example later it is even if it is doing all this thing it is retaining the mathematical foundation so whatever the relational model foundation is there it is preserving that okay but it is violating the first normal form okay it is violating the first normal form how it is violating the first normal form let us see okay now the example of the nested relation this nested relation is non one nf relation okay uh, here we are providing the books relation here okay the example is about the library information system where uh, one book relation we have taken this book is having a title it is having set of authors it is having publisher and it is having set of keywords okay and if we want to define that how we can do that we are defi we are defining in this way here we have provided title here we have provided author set which is a set here okay which is having multiple authors uh, here publisher is there which is having two things one is name of the publisher and the branch of the publisher and then a set of keywords okay so here we are providing keywords also uh, so it is also acting as a set so it is totally violating the 
first normal form. So this book's relation, you can see the example. Compiler's book is having two authors. Networks is having two authors. Uh, publisher details are given here. Micro Island, New, uh, New York and Oxford and London. And the keyword set are parsing analysis for compiler and internet and web. Okay. Now, see basically the one NF version of the nested relation. How it is there? Uh, the earlier version, this one is non one NF. Okay, non one NF, very uh, including only two tuples. You can see one is compiler and other one is network. Whereas in one NF, how we are de designing the same thing, you can see here. Okay, compilers, the author, first author, then the publisher name, branch, and then the keyword. Similarly, the second author, I like this one. Uh, here for the compiler, the uh, the keywords, first keywords are given here, then the second keywords are given, like this one. Okay, so this is a one NF version. Whereas non one NF is having very simple relation structure, which is having the complex types. Now, let us convert that into four NF. What we are doing in this four NF, we are decomposing the normal nested relation into uh, the four NF decomposition. Okay, which we call it as a fourth normal form. Uh, see what we are doing in this. We are uh, removing the whatever this flat books is there. What is flat books? This is a one NF version. Okay. You can see here that flat books example is provided. So, 1NF version flat books, we are assuming that it is having multi value dependencies are there. What are the dependencies? Title with the author, title with the keyword, title with the publisher name and branch. So, according to this, we are decomposing. So, what we are doing now? We are decomposing our table into multiple uh, uh, formals. Okay. Now, see here. Okay. Authors is having one relation, keyword having one relation and books having another relation. So, like this we are doing here. So, this one is called as a 4NF decomposition. Okay. Now, what are the problems with the 4NF schema? Basically, what happens in 4NF? It, it is requiring users to include the joins in the query because you can see here that these many tables are there. When I want the combined uh, relation with all the details of a particular relation, then we have to uh, take the join operation. Okay, so it is the design is requiring the join operation, and whenever the one NF relational view of uh, it is defined in the four NF relation, it is eliminating the need for the users to perform joins. Whenever we are taking the uh, normal one, okay, non -N non one NF, then it is eliminating the users to perform the join operation. It is losing one to one correspondence between the tuples because already one tuple is holding all the data. It is having large amount of redundancies also. Okay. Now, the nested relations which are representing is much more natural here. You can see that whatever the nested relations we have provided, those are much more natural. So, we can see that whatever the nested, uh, nested relation we have provided, that is a better version. Okay. These are my references which I have referred here. Okay. Thank you.